In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to perform a boost leak test on your vehicle. And I'm also going to show you guys how to create a DIY boost leak tester under like seven bucks, I think it was. It was a really cool idea. I just learned it myself. So I said, why not show it to you guys? This is all there is to making your own DIY boost leak tester. I've been using this for the past week and it has worked perfectly. So you do not have to spend $50 on, a, on an expensive billet boost leak tester. This will do the job. Shout out to Vinny, give credit where it's due. He was the one with the idea and showed me how to create this. So I just got it and thought about it and I was like, wow, this is super simple. So I got, let me give you guys these item codes just in case you guys want to get this specific stuff. Pause it. Um, this was all, I got everything from Home Depot except this. I got this at AutoZone and I got this at Harbor Freight. You don't have to get this if you already have a compressor with a gauge. I didn't have this. But to make the boost leak tester, this is the three items you need. Uh, this was a PVC cap off two inch plate for my application since I'm on a stock turbo. Uh, 2.5 uh, turbo inlet, so this is perfect um, PVC cap off you drill a hole and insert a tire valve stem inside then you seal it up so I got the screw type as you can see you seal it up really good with the screw pretty self-explanatory and you put it on one side obviously of the coupler oh and let me explain the coupler this is a two by two two inches on both side PVC coupler that I got at Home Depot and it already came with the clamps. This was like three bucks or four bucks. Like, I'm not even joking. Uh, it is a two inch. The stock Evo 8 Turbo is a 2.5, but this stretches wide enough to fit the 2.5 easily. And then just clamp it down and just make sure that you clamp both sides down. If you have T-bolt, T-bolt clamps, this is better. I have them, I just use this and it still works. Um, and now, once you have this set up, literally you could do this in two minutes you're ready to do a boost leak test. Now, let me explain how to perform a boost leak test so you guys can see it yourself because I have a couple of boost leaks going on right now in my engine. So that way you guys can see what to do and also what to listen for and how to diagnose the car, or how to locate these boost leaks. So once you have your boost leak tester on the turbo itself, what you're gonna wanna do is get some compressed air. So you need to get a compressor of some sort if you don't have one. This is the compressor, small compressor I have. Make sure you have compressed air. And now let me show you guys how it actually works. So what you're essentially gonna do is once you have pressure and you have your compressor on with enough air, you're gonna plug this tire valve stem. What I'm doing is giving it a little bit of air, checking, I'm gonna give it like five to 10 PSI. And you're gonna see this coupler get a little bit inflated, which means it's getting air on the other side. I'm gonna give it a little bit more and then you're gonna start hearing hissing sounds coming from other places if you do have a vacuum leak. So that's what you're gonna search for. I'm gonna give it a little bit more. I put it really low to 10 PSI on the outlet a part of the compressor. So that's why it's taking a little bit longer, but I could already hear some hissing sounds. So what you're gonna do, You're gonna get some sort of soapy water. This is just water with soap mixed in it. And I'm gonna start spraying wherever you hear any sort of hissing sound. So as you can see, you spray it and my bed screw is leaking, I know that. So, and look at how the bubbles come out with the soapy water. So you know that there's a vacuum leak there. I had a vacuum leak right here in this tile. I already changed it. So right now, no bubbles are coming out as you can see. So wherever you feel that there's a vacuum leak, again, look at how the bubbles just come out and it tells you exactly where the vacuum leak are. So if I was to spray that again, give it a little bit of more air. Look at how the air is just coming right out. So you can see that that still has a vacuum leak right there. Same here, unfortunately, I have some sort of vacuum leak by the turbo on the cold side. I think, it's th I think this cold side has an O-ring there 
and I do have a vacuum leak here. I also had a vacuum leak in this coupler right here. Even though it was super tight, it also had a vacuum leak. Like I said, I had one in the blow off valve. I checked every single coupler. So what you're gonna wanna do is spray some water and soap to every single coupler. So that one, this one, I sprayed the whole intake manifold, the rear as well. I am gonna do an EGR delete because that could create more leaks. But so the only leaks that I have is this one right here. And I also have to figure out this turbo uh, to see. I was gonna replace my turbo, so I'll see if I replace it now rather than later. But I'm gonna fix this leak right now by changing the bis, bis screw and the O-ring and that shit fix the vacuum leaks. But I just kind of wanted to show you guys how to perform a vacuum leak test because I never, I did it once in my car when I first bought it and never did it myself. I didn't have the tools. So I was like, oh, like, you know, it's fine. I maintain my car super well. I always take care of my car, change the oil, like very often clean my car, perform all the maintenance that it needs, but never occurred to me to do this because I didn't think I had a boost leak and I had four or five boost leaks, which is insane. So perform this, do this to your Evo, do this to any turbo car because you will be surprised by the amount of boost leaks you find. I do hope this video was informative for all of you guys that haven't performed a boost leak test. As soon as I saw how many boost, leak, uh, boost leaks I had, I was like, I need to record this and just put it, put it out there. The people that do follow me, perform your boost leak test because again, that's not something I usually do. And now that I do have the tool and I created it myself, this is something that I'm gonna do literally periodically. Like every single time after uh, a track day, autocross day, every single time, every month. I'm really like, I have OCD, so I'm gonna be performing this test every single time that I can, possibly, obviously, not all the time, but you get what I mean. I hope this was informative. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. Remember to subscribe. I think we're almost to 500. If not, we already passed it, but remember to subscribe. I'm posting every single week. So like always, keep grinding, and I'll see you guys next weekend. Take care.